So the idea behind a nudge is that it's a small intervention, a small change you make in encouragement to not force people to do something, but make it easier for them to do the right thing. Um, and so at Google, we did a ton of work on figuring out how can you nudge employees and shape the environment to help people make better decisions. Um, I'll give you a couple examples, uh, but this is also something over at Humu, my new company, is central to how we're thinking about the world because there's huge opportunity to have impact on this. Uh, one of the things we did was um, we saw in engineering. So in engineering in the technology industry, um, a few years ago it was about 17% women, 83% men. That number since grown to about 20% women. Still pretty awful, but better. And at Google, when you wanted to get promoted, your manager could nominate you, but you could also nominate yourself. You just fill out the form and say, I'm ready to be promoted. And what we found was that women were not getting promoted at the same rate as men. And when we dug into the data, what we found was when a woman was nominated by herself, she got promoted way more often than men did. But women were nominating themselves at a lower rate than men. And this is backed up by the research. If you look at how kids perform in school, teacher asks a question, boys kind of raise their hand and go like, me, 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 me. Girls wait a little more on average until they feel more certain, until they feel more comfortable. And this shows up as early as first grade, second grade, third grade. And without meaning to, teachers inadvertently reinforce that behavior by calling on the boys first. So we tried a nudge. We had our head of engineering, Alan used to send an email to everyone in the company saying, here's what we've seen. Women nominate themselves less frequently, but when they do, they're more successful. Women, please nominate yourselves for promotion. And we had two promo cycles a year, every six months. And what we found was the difference completely went away. Completely went away. So we did that for 18 months. And then six months later, Alan forgot to send the email. And it's really my fault because I forgot to remind him to send the email. So my bad. And the rate of promotions dropped again. Six months later, I made sure to remind Alan. He sent the email. It went back up. And so what it revealed is that this tiny intervention, this nudge, this one email was enough to remind the women in the organization who were just as good, if not better, than the men in the organization at the engineering to put their hats in the ring, to raise their hands, to say, I am ready to be promoted. Even if inside they didn't feel quite ready, it reminded them to step forward. And the result was the difference in promotion rates completely went away. 